Hello and welcome back to No One Lives Forever, The Operative. When we last left off, well, we managed to cure ourselves from the uh, terrible, um, you know, explosion serum thingy. And, uh, we're escaping the chateau, which apparently is gonna blow. That's all good. Oh, we're pretty far away from the chateau. Good. I don't want to see you here no more. this thing sucks because it's like a falling platform. Huh, dumb dumb rounds. Yeah, they'll be real useful. Although at the moment I'm just want any kind of bullet. Oh, more helicopters. Throwing 9mm is not what I would say the best option, but it's what you got. Yeah. Still got about two mags worth of... Uh, Well, that makes sad sense. Good God! Do you think 
to be an interesting adversary, Miss Archer. I've never had the chance to compete with a woman in a professional capacity. The experience has been an amusing one. <laughs> Good. Then you can go to your grave happy. Perhaps. But I deem your mortality a far more immediate concern. Hand over the list, and I will kill you swiftly. How generous of you. I am not a man to trifle with. I've been perfecting methods of torture since before you were born. It would grieve me to have to demonstrate my skills on such a lovely creature as yourself. Are you threatening me or attempting to seduce me? <laughs> I try never to get involved with women who want to kill me. Wise policy. Live and learn. <laughs> well, you'll not get this list in any case. That is where you are mistaken. <laughs> Let me guess. Yep, I'm out of bullets. Well, this is not a pleasant experience. Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Been avenged, Bruno. Rank victim. <laughs> yeah. You've escaped with the list. The Baroness has escaped, but it's only a matter of time before she's brought to justice. Volkov and Baron Dumas are dead. Meanwhile, Armstrong has vanished, but it seems unlikely that you have anything to fear from him. All that is left is to report the good news to command. Okay. Fight your way back to the upper landing. Report to Unity Headquarters. Mr. Jones, please. Who may I say is calling? Kate Archer. One moment. Archer, you're alive? I suppose I am. There was a report that you'd been killed in an explosion. Oh, that. No, I survived. Did you get the list? I expect a telegram within the hour. This is excellent news. Are you all right? 
I'm fine. Maybe a wee bit tired. Nothing a nap and a sip of scotch won't clear up. <laughs> well, let me know the moment you arrive. Okay. See you soon. She's got the list. Unbelievable. Miss Kavanaugh, please alert cryptography that Agent Archer will be sending an encoded message within the hour. This is top priority. Mm -hmm. Don't congratulate yourself yet, Ms. Archer. Oh, hello. You've won... nothing. Yes, well, you've lost everything, again. Not true, Agent Archer. I still have the satisfaction of knowing that you have failed. But no. I haven't. We have Dr. Schenker, we have the antidote, and most importantly, we have the names of your intended victims. You still have to deliver the list. Which I shall, just as I shall deliver you to prison where you can accustom yourself to a slightly less opulent lifestyle. Ah, oh, what a sweet fantasy. But it's not meant to be, I'm afraid. Know this, little girl. Harm does not die with me. Oh? I think you'll survive your wounds. <laughs> it's not my wounds you should be worried about. Uh. Pardon me. I've got to get everybody off the streets. <laughs> Inside, hurry! Get off the streets! Okay, there's 11 folks I need to look for. And I think I'm gonna fail this one. Get inside, now! Get inside! Get off the streets! Hurry! Get inside! So much right. Did you hear that? Get inside, now! Get inside! Clear the streets! <laughs> Baroness has satisfaction knowing you failed. Great. Okay, I gotta figure out where all these people are. One sec. Okay, I got nearly all of them. Yeah, I don't really care about Inside, hurry. Get off the streets. Any of you guys. You're all fine. Get inside now. Get inside. Get off the streets. Get inside! Hurry! Get inside! Get off the streets! You are the one that I missed. What was that? Get inside now! This should... Get inside! There we go. And she's dancing. And boom. Poor pathetic creature. Ah, Miss Archer. I trust you're recuperating suitably? Quite so, Mr. Jones. Thank you for the champagne. Mm. It's a tradition I began back in the war to reward my boys for a mission well done. It pays to have friends in the supply department. Sounds like. So, does that mean I'm one of the boys? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it does. 
Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Of course. Miss Archer, I realize I have been somewhat abrasive during this ordeal. Mm. You've been a belligerent oaf. I hope you can understand that I take our collective purpose very seriously. Although I was highly skeptical of a woman's ability to handle this mission, I am overjoyed to have been proved wrong. You have gone above and beyond the call of duty in this matter for which we are all indebted to you. I wish we could offer you a proper vacation, but until unity is full strength again, I'm afraid we can't afford to let you rest. Thank you, sir, but I've waited a long time for a chance like this. I wouldn't dream of going on vacation now. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I'm going to go home and see if my wife remembers me. See you both tomorrow. I'd best be going, too. I'm bathed in three days. I imagine I'm a bit ripe. <laughs> Is this how it ends, then? How what ends? Saving the world. That's what we did, right? Yes, that is what we did. Is it always like this? Weary farewells and shuffling off home for a hot bath and a good night's sleep? A good night's sleep if you're lucky. <laughs> yes, Agent Archer. It is always like this. Saving the world is our job, you see. If we do it properly, nobody even knows the world is in jeopardy to begin with. Not a lot of fanfare, I suppose. Just the satisfaction of a job well done. Makes sense. An important job. Yes. I like to think so. Good night, Agent Archer. Good night, Mr. Smith. Good night. Oh, Bruno, you blinking corpse. You were right. Last night I slept peacefully for the first time since my father died. How touching. Tom? You owe me more than you can imagine, Ms. Archer. I thought you... You have no idea what I put myself through, and I'm not going to get a dime for it thanks to you. You're the traitor. Hey, I'm not proud of what I did, but I was going to get a handsome paycheck as compensation. A very handsome paycheck. Unfortunately, you had to go and blow up my benefactor. Money? You betrayed the entire free world for money? Ah, uh, spare me the self-righteousness. Everybody has a price. Even you. You don't know anything about me. Maybe not, but I've been in this business long enough to see what people are capable of. Anybody can talk about honor and patriotism, but those are just pretty words. When the money's on the table, the right amount of money, you'd be surprised how quickly you can change your tune. Mm -hmm. Do you honestly believe that? Of course I uh, do. You know what a spy is? It's just some ordinary is... Joe who's willing to risk his life to sell out his country for a few measly bucks. We rely on these people. That's where most of our information comes from. The difference between them and us, other than our training as operatives, of course, is a price tag. Mine just happened to be about a hundred times as much money. And now I get nothing thanks to you. This is You're all forgetting expected. something, Tom. Those spies we recruit aren't patriots, they're cowards. We seek out selfish, hateful little people who place themselves above everyone else. We choose them because they're weak and greedy and arrogant, like you. Touche. Don't you understand what you did? People died because of you. Bruno died because of you. Hey, Volkov killed him, not me. All I did was supply some information. I'm not responsible for how that information was used. Uh, we'll see what the court thinks about that. I didn't come here to surrender. Pity for you. To be expected. Miss Archer.
Drop your gun. Or what? Are you gonna shoot me in cold blood? If I have to. That's mighty tough talk for a little girl. Mr. Smith, what are you doing here? Tending to some unfinished business. Mr. Jones? Are you all right, Miss Archer? Aye. What's going on? There's your traitor. You mean Smithy? How long have you known? I've suspected you for some time. You've only just now confirmed my suspicions. All this time you thought he might be a traitor? Oh Indeed, my. but I had to be sure. You might have warned Bruno. He did. Bruno? Explains the blinking corpse. Look out! Everyone okay? Good shooting, Archer. But what about Tom? Tom Goodman died in Amsterdam. What? But I thought... The man you knew as Tom Goodman was an imposter. His real name was Melvin Blitzney. He's a former vacuum cleaner salesman from Akron, Ohio. I don't understand. It's quite simple. Seven years ago, Mr. Jones took Smithy off the active list due to his increasingly inadequate performance in the field. Mandatory retirement came as a great blow. Smithy, like many operatives, thought of himself as a man of action. He viewed his reassignment into the role of an administrator as an insult to his virility. He kept his dissatisfaction to himself, secretly plotting to discredit Jones and, in the process, line his own pockets. To this end, he recruited Melvin Blitzney, who underwent plastic surgery, extensive training, and months of voice lessons in order to become Tom Goodman, for whom Smithy, meanwhile, laid a deadly trap in Amsterdam. How did Smithy hook up with a vacuum cleaner salesman from Ohio? <laughs> Apparently, they met in a bar in Florida on one of Smithy's last assignments. Anyhow, with Goodman out of the way and no one any the wiser, Smithy launched the next phase of his scheme, which was to nurture a relationship with an up-and-coming terrorist organization. He chose harm. His plan was to create an international incident of staggering proportions and simultaneously crippled unity so that we would have no choice but to capitulate. Such an unmitigated failure would force Mr. Jones to step down, giving Smithy control of unity and also a handsome payoff in a secret bank account in Zurich. But what about Morocco? It was a trap meant to snare us both. Mr. Jones and I agreed that it would serve as a perfect opportunity for me to disappear for a while. You might have warned me, you know. We couldn't risk tipping our hand. You mean you didn't think I could keep a secret? Keeping a secret wasn't enough. Smithy had to believe I was dead, which meant that you had to believe it as well. I'm truly sorry, Kate. Oh, you will be. But there <laughs> are still some things I don't understand. Smithy was extremely forthcoming with information for someone who wanted us to fail. Every mission he sent you on was a trap. Eventually, really? it occurred to him that you were far more competent than he had anticipated. But it was already too late by then. You had outwitted him. Besides, if he'd attempted to conceal information, he would have drawn suspicion to himself, which he couldn't afford. But why did Tom, or Melvin, whatever his name is, blow up the cargo freighter? To get rid of you, of course. But Inga Wagner and Magnus Armstrong were aboard the ship. They were expendable. If you knew all this, why didn't you just arrest Smithy and be done with it? because we didn't know all this until very recently. Your investigations revealed much of the information we needed, but the final piece of the puzzle fell into place yesterday afternoon when I found this in Smithy's flat. Oh, The puppet? Indeed. Mm. Unbelievable. I'm sorry I had to deceive you, Kate. 
Sorry is not good enough. Do you have any idea how devastated I was? I should leave you two alone. I'm sure you've plenty of catching up to do. <laughs> you certainly looked sad. What do you mean? Well, I was watching when you came to pay your respects. You were spying on me? Not intentionally. I ought to kill you myself. Who's buried here anyway? No one. It's an empty casket. An empty casket? Calm down. <laughs> Don't run away from me. Come back and take what's coming to you. Kate, please, you're overreacting. <laughs> I'll show you overreacting, you bastard. Well, so that is No One Lives Forever. As expected, the traitors were um, people that we didn't like. Um, I will say I enjoy the game out of its uniqueness. It is very nice to have something that is a first-person shooter but has its own, like, degree of style. Um, with the whole, you know, 1960s James Bond sort of uh, thing. I really, really enjoyed that. That said, there's a lot of levels that are just sort of like there. Um, like the levels that pop really, really, really pop, especially... Um, one, the space level. Uh, I am definitely going to con keep considering that like one of the best first-person levels of uh, the 2000s. And um, the jungle level before that. And Morocco wasn't bad if it didn't start off with this like sniper escort mission. It just starts out so slow. But once the game picks up, it does feel considerably better. Um, but yeah, uh, that is No One Lives Forever. Great music. Um, great, uh, you know, great visuals. Yeah, the models haven't quite... Uh, you know, aged as well as some other things, but eh, it's not too bad. Um, and <laughs> authentic coins, interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, this was a uh, game series that actually had um, three um, entries into it. Uh, this one, um, No One Lives Forever 2, A Spy in Harm's Way, and, uh, what is it, Agent Jack, or Operative Jack, or Project Jack, I don't know. Um, will I be doing, uh, all of these? Honestly, possibly. Although it'll probably be a while before I continue on with the next one. Um... Wow. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'd say as far as first person shooters go, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Um, what's coming next? Uh, well, speaking of sequels, I figure, um, even though it's uh, been recent, it's a relatively short game series, so we're going to um, view another game we did recently. Oh. I'm afraid I have bad news. Volkov survived. I'm already aware of the situation, Dimitri. No matter. We'll just have to do better next time, won't we? The drunken man. Huh. I mean... We're sending you to a remote island paradise for a well-deserved vacation. You'll have plenty of peace and quiet without distractions. 
In fact, we can't contact you even if we want to. The only communication to the outside world is through the weekly boat that brings supplies and vacationers from the mainland. Enjoy yourself, Kate. You've earned it. I guess there's still more. When we come back, some rest and relaxation. Have a good one, folks.